Hello and welcome everyone, I'm not here with another battle replay for Napoleon Total War. And we are back seeing the exploits of the Sun Tzu clan. Mistru playing as the Ottomans and his clanmate Raps playing as Austria on the Tabuk Mesa map, which I don't think I've ever played on, but this really does give you the feeling of like a the potential of what could have been a really cool King of the Hill type map. And that's probably what we'll see uh, focused on in this battle. The battle for this hill to get the elevated terrain to fight against the other two players. And interestingly about this map is that unlike most maps in pretty much I think every single Total War game. You don't deploy next to your ally. You actually um, deploy opposite. You can see Mistru playing as the Ottomans, Raps playing as Austria, and you'll see um, the HC clan, Athenian playing as Spain, and Hellenic Warrior playing as Russia, and they are on the right and left. And we have, obviously, our two Sun Tzu players, so do feel free to keep sending in your battle replays, guys. Also, there should be a little poll up on this video where you can vote for which um, Total War you'd like to see a replay on from next. As I've said many times, I've got loads of replays that you guys have been sending in uh, over the past few weeks and months. So plenty to see. And I'm actually going to throw things into slow-mo because that intro about the map and everything hasn't given me enough... In fact, I'm going to pause it. It hasn't given me enough time to go through the units, what's on show. Now, actually, taking Spain... I'll just briefly, we'll talk about the units, the Ottomans... Uh, that Mistru and Raps have got, but Spain under the command of Ath uh, Athenian. He's actually got an advantage here with his guerrilla uh, units that can deploy outside the deployment zone. He's actually been able to deploy here and he's going to try and lock Mistru in straight away. And this is actually going to be very interesting to see how Mistru overcomes this because all of this is going, if he can just hold him here, is going to give Athenian plenty of time to storm up, gain the high ground, and block Mistru from moving up there. Plus the fact that now, effectively, Mistru is trapped in the center, left, and right flanks. Or left and right, however, whichever orientation we eventually have this map up with. And they're all focusing on trying to pin Mistru in. However... Raps could save the day if he storms up, perhaps the up to the centre of the hill here, uh, claims claims kingship over the hill, and then potentially pushes to a flank or smashes through the centre. Some time charges with Mister. It'll be interesting to see how the two Sun Tzu players overcome the tactics of the HC clan, Athenian warrior, Athenian sorry as uh, Spain and Hellenic warrior as Russia. So let's just go through the units from um, Mistru and Raps, and then we'll hit start. Just see the uh, Spanish and Russian troops as we go on through. So, we can see that Mistru has the majority of his cavalry force, I believe. Oh, no, no, he split them equally. He likes to do this. So, he's got a, I believe, I'm seeing one unit. No, there's two units of uh, Nazim um, uh, Kedit. Infantry with the what are these guys Imperium Osmansky, the mounted Nazim Kedit. So mounted cavalry. He has that unit going forward there. Supported, so it's two. See three, three mounted cavalry over on the left with two units of uh, Nazim um, Kedit infantry. And then over on the right, we have more cavalry. In fact, we have the um, Sifhafi cavalry. Sifhei cavalry. I can never say it right. Sifhei cavalry. Um, and these are the solid melee cavalry. Oh, Siltar Guard. Oh, not Siltar. Uh, Silatar Guard. I always say these wrong. Two, three, two, two guard and one um, Sifhei cavalry. Lots of heavy cav. Plus, plus to Mounted Cav and to Nazim Kedit um, Infantry as well. And they are all ploughing off to the right, off to the left. Reasonable force on each side, actually. It's going for uh, 
You know, he's not just going to go forward and try to smash into these guys and push up the hill. It will be quite a tough fight to get up there straight away. In his center, it'll be interesting to see what he does here. He has two units of um, Kedit rifles. And behind that, three units of regular infantry. And Bashi um, bazooks behind that melee infantry and a general's bodyguard. Let's go take a look at what wraps as over here, well, a lot of infantry. Hungarian Fusiliers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I think. Unless I've miscounted all. There's a few more in the jungle there. All Hungarian Fusiliers. There's an Archduke uh, Charles Legion popping up here. Yeah, there we go. In the mix. General Staff behind those two units of Grenzers. And in front, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five units of Ulans. So he's going for that shock cavalry lancer charge. So let's see how these guys do against the Russians with their lifeguard foot, other guard units, musketeers, Krusia cavalry, and lifeguard Cossacks. As well as the Might of Spain, Fusiliers, Dragoons, Light Infantry, Lanceros, and of course this little advance force here, Casadors and Tyriadors, along with Mounted Cavalry and more Lanceros, so more Shock Cavalry too. So let's hit play and let's see how Sun Tzu do today. The cavalry is pulling back straight away. Hazards, I believe. And yeah, as, as expected, a couple of units flanking around, but Raps is pushing straight up the center here. You know, Mystery. Oh, you can get up the little like archways here. He is flanking around. Insane speed with the with the guard there. The cavalry. You can see it's going off right around the back of the Russian player there, behind Hellenic Warrior. And he's sending his cavalry up here. We some shots fired off by the Casadors. Is Mr. going to go for the charge or is he just going to cut on round? There's cavalry, mounted cavalry all deployed at the back there, firing on in. Over on the left. Oh, he's going straight in for the charge. And I did read in the description of this battle. He said, these charges were designed to just try and hold up the enemy. So he's thrown away his mounted Nazim Kedit um, cavalry there. He's pulling, pulling up with his infantry steadily. And he's just hitting the central Spanish force there. And he's absolutely wrecked those Cazadors with his guard. Supported by all of his infantry and cavalry. Where have those other two units gone? They've gone right to the back. The um, Sifhe cavalry and the Silaha Salaha Targard. I can never say that. Rodiek. Rodiek. Russia, meanwhile, is plowing on up the hill. I think I'm going to throw this into slow motion because we need to slow things down to see what the heck is going on. Because it is getting insanely messy on this map, but I would imagine that this map just breeds messy, messy battles. In fact, if we look at the mini map briefly, we can see Russia pushing up uh, very solidly in the center and they're now clashing with Spain. Russia, though. Pushing up that gap, forming up square to try and keep away some of the cavalry. And their cavalry is crashing on into the guard cavalry here. Tilahata guard. They're really going for it again. From what I read from the description of this battle replay, Mistru says again a lot of his cavalry charges here, or a lot of the cavalry charges you will see, were to delay and slow down enabling the rest of the troops to get into position. But again, he's got the perfect support here. He's got the Kedit infantry supporting his cavalry, moving on up, throwing them in against the um, Chevalier's guard. Doing really well over there. Cavalry has been able to flank on round, and it's going to constantly just harass. In fact, with these guys closing into the center, it actually gives Mistru more opportunities to move on round to flank and manipulate the battle, the situation, from the flanks, where, where he's going to be most comfortable from. We can see volleys, though, blasting into the Austrians, but Raps has just brought the manpower today. 
And the Spanish Light Infantry are getting a charge from the Hungarian Fusiliers over here. And that is not going to be fun for them. Squares being formed as these units just barrel forward. An absolute mess to just try and claim the top of their hill there. The Russian cavalry pulling back and squares are just going to be formed, which is throwing up all the cavalry into the air. But it is just giving uh, Mistru and Raps time to work out uh, what they're doing, get their formations in order, get their infantry, especially for Raps, where that's his powerhouse for this battle, into position. However, Russian cavalry charging on in, trying to get to the light infantry, the Grenzers of Raps over on the left here, but we have Mistru's cavalry over here, but they've gone in for the jugular, and they've killed a general, they've killed Athenian's um, general here, he went on in against all of those Ulans, and they have claimed themselves a pretty target, and a pretty prize for their effort in the center there, what's going on over here, musketeers, uh, two units forming up behind Mystery's forces here, and he's already turned around his cadet infantry so he can see and try and slow them down. He's just got one unit slowing them down for now, and that can work to his advantage. While the rest of the cavalry finally able to move away from the Russian squares, and it's now piling on in to the Spanish light infantry. Meanwhile, his force in the center is beginning to push forward infantry and light infantry they're going to push up and take the hill he could never charge up the, the front there because of the spanish deployed stakes he's managed to push in quite happily on the left though and he's getting some good volleys in supported by the cavalry there and athenian having lost his general his infantry is now being charged by the austrian ulans and i'm going to hit play for a little bit we'll probably take a slow-mo break in a second and over on the left, Raps is able to deal with that cavalry, it looks like. Forming up plenty of squares. And... <laughs> oh, Mr. has been hunting the general sneakily with those two cavalry units. I was wondering what he was doing with them. Waited for the perfect opportunity to strike in under the trees. And he swung on in and taken out the Russian general. So now both enemy, enemy players are without general. Raps pushing forward with the Hungarian Fusiliers, just rushing forward now. He's trying to um, capitalize on that morale shock that um, he could potentially levy. Although Mistru's infantry under fire and in trouble over here. He's got the lifeguard and musketeers and more musketeers all just firing. And those guys are going to go. But if Mistru can break through the center here, he can break the Spanish forces. Which have been hit heavily by Austrian Ulan attack. Well, he's managed to pull he's managed to pull any of them back. Are they all gone? All the Ulans are gone? I think so. I think they all eventually got mashed up. You can see horse carcasses strewn across the battlefield. But having lost generals, the Austrian infantry charge is breaking Athenians' forces over on the right and well, they don't have can kind of complete control of the center of the hill yet. The left and the right are being pushed heavily. And we have this massive melee engagement. You wouldn't know that this is a Napoleonic battle, really, uh, right now. Everyone's getting stuck into the melee. I'm not having any kind of um, firing lines. Everyone's getting stuck in. The Russians, their morale, flexing back and forth with the loss of their general there. And Raps is moving to try and secure the center. Mistry bringing his cavalry in again, going for some rear charges, and this could be devastating to the Russian forces on this flank with all that infantry there. Problem, though, for Mistru and for Raps right now are these um, guard and musketeer units. However, that doesn't seem to have bothered them. They've been able to push through. Line infantry moved up in position, and they are just breaking them. The Jaeger regiment has gone. That takedown of the generals early on in this battle is shifting the battle massively towards Sun Tzu's favor against HC. And Spain, is, Athenian's forces have just crumbled away. There's barely anything left. Just the might of Raps charge here with his infantry and his cavalry. Again, now I know what uh, Mystery meant when he said the charges might seem, you know, pretty ballsy, pretty insane. But they're for a reason, and they have paid off in buckets. It's allowed the infantry just to charge on through, slamming forward. 
with column charge after column charge. And without a general, these guys being flanked and hit from all sides. Spain and Russia are just crumbling into the dust. I am very surprised because it changed very quickly from looking like Mistru was hemmed in, going to be flanked and just overwhelmed by the Russian force. Even these guys, the lifeguard and musketeers on this flank, are now being chewed up chewed up by the Austrian and Ottoman forces which have held their ground really well on this left flank. I thought they would be broken very quickly with all those forces around. Both the front and flanks. They're getting stuck in there and Mystery has just cleared away all obstacles on left, right and centre. And they're now pushing up onto the hill. Raps has cleared the right flank. Athenian is gone and the last of the Russian forces are in this mess here. Quite the messy hilltop clash. This would be really fun for a, like a King of the Hill scenario. It's something I do hope we see in future historical Total Wars. More battle modes. Because a map like this begs for it, surely. But yeah, there, there, is, there is no Spanish forces left. They are all gone. Russia, the last of them, just holding on lifeguard foot in here. They do have what they have over here. Musketeers right at the back here. They're going to break though. And they've still got the Moscow Musketeers in the trees here. Facing down an Austrian charge perhaps. Watch this last, last stand of the Moscow Musketeers. I didn't know what to expect from this battle. I didn't know if it's going to be a particularly long one or a short one. But this, the overwhelming just force of Austria combined with the flexibility of Mistru's army to be able to flank, throw his cavalry in situations which he didn't necessarily need to get a return in terms of the unit still being alive at the end, but it worked very well in rewarding him with uh, with delaying the enemy slowing down their advance and it just allowed Raps to just hammer home with that mass infantry build that he had and, and that is it, guys. That is the battle for today. Wow. I did not expect um, that to be, I guess, so brutal for um, Athenian and Hellenic warrior. But well played to both sides, to both clans there. Who do you guys think was going to win? Um, I thought, actually, Athenian had a very nice position with his, you know, blocking off Mistru here. You know, the deployment as well worked in their favour if they'd been able to hem him in. But obviously there were these, I don't know if we can see through to the map clearly, but there were these kind of uh, branches out from the top of the hill, as it were, allowing them to flank up that way. But uh, yeah, I, I really did think they had Mystery hemmed in, but he, he, he clearly knows the map well. He knew how to, uh, I guess, almost lure his enemies into a full sense of security with their positioning. And even with that uh, sort of vanguard deployment, for his, uh, for the Spanish units, Athenian was not able to keep uh, Mistru held in, and Mistru was able just to hold them up long enough, divert most of their attention actually over to him, which just allowed Raps to just hammer forward, and he created this mass line sort of. It wiggled around a bit over here, but he managed to get onto the high ground, s helped with Mistru to smash Spain. They got those generals both down very early on in this battle. But that was obviously key again. Saving those two heavy cavalry units back in the forest back here. And slamming into that Russian general. Well played to all. I'll be interested to see uh, more battles on this map. So if you fought on, on this map guys. The uh, uh, Tabuk Mesa map. 2v2. Feel free to send in some replays. I'd, be lo I'd love to see some more um, some more clashes on this map. But as I said. There, is a, there should be a poll. Should be I guess for the, for the whole video. Or maybe it was just at the start. Um, do feel free to rewind, as it were, scrub back and check out um, the options there for what replay you'd like to see next. Choices will most likely be Medieval, Attila, Room 2 and Warhammer. Since we've done a couple of Napoleon, Napoleon will be back on the next battle replay video. But yeah, keep sending those replays in. Cheers to all, cheers to Mystery for sending in this replay, and I will catch you all again soon. So until next time, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take pride and join the Legion, check out my affiliates and sponsors, XMG, Green Man Gaming, and Overclockers UK. Until the next one, ciao for now.